Hi Paula, my name is Lisa Wasserman, I'm from Florida, and today we're working on a dessert item. I thought about the 4th of July and what better fruit to have for the 4th of July than a strawberry. This is going to be absolutely delicious. I call this the Philadelphia Cream Cheese 4th of July Strawberry Teasers. Delicious. Okay, let's get started. First of all, because we're in season now for strawberries, you're going to have such a great selection of beautiful, beautiful baked strawberries. They don't all have to be big like this, but it's now you can really get them like this. Okay, you want to cut out the center of your strawberry. Take a very sharp little knife. I use this one. Throw away the core. Now you want to cut the bottom straight across so that when you put it on your display plate, it stands up straight. See, it's hard to get a strawberry to stand up straight if you don't cut the bottom off, okay? I'll do the rest like this. These are so very, very simple. This dessert is scrumptious. Absolutely, you're gonna love this. It includes powdered sugar, vanilla, and Philadelphia cream cheese. That's it. All right. Do a couple more here for you so you understand. Cut off the bottom so they stand. And then when you're done, rinse them with some water, put them on a paper towel, and just let them dry. Okay? I'll rinse them, put them on the paper towel, and let them dry. Okay, now you want to make your filling for your strawberries. Of course, it's eight ounces of Philadelphia cream cheese. Eight ounces. Then it's two and a half cups of powdered sugar. But first, give your cream cheese a mix. Get it blended. All right. Then go ahead and pour your powdered sugar in there. I do maybe twice put it in there because otherwise you're going to have all this powder everywhere. Blend it very, very well. You're going to put a teaspoon of your vanilla extract in here. This is such a wonderfully easy dessert. And it's so pretty, you can prepare it with such a nice presentation. And a teaspoon of your vanilla extract, okay? Then go ahead and add the rest of your powdered sugar. And blend it very well. The powdered sugar kind of goes everywhere. have one of those pastry devices that can squirt out your your flavoring your filling your frosting just use a ziploc bag and here's a little trick I bend down the sides just like this so I don't get it all over my bag scoop out your filling now you'll want to have two quarts probably of strawberries this makes quite a lot all right then close your ziploc bag Make sure it's tight because when you squeeze it, you don't want it coming out all over the place. And then just cut out just a little bit of the end, okay? That way you'll get your filling out of here. So, you know, get a little water out of there. Go ahead and just squirt it into there like that. So easy. Now you can buy a pastry device if you'd like, but this is just easier. I didn't have one, so I thought, how can I do this? This is perfect. All right, and then I put a blueberry on top of each. There's your, here's your red, white, and blue. So delicious, so delicious. All right, finish your blueberries. And then I put it on a pretty plate for presentation. Sometimes it's all about the presentation, okay? So I'll put it right on here. 
strawberries. I've already prepared some so you can see how pretty this plate can be. Look at that, it's so delicious. Oh my goodness. And then you can just take a bunch of blueberries, sprinkle it all around the plate. So you have this beautiful presentation. All right. And this is your Philadelphia cream cheese strawberry teasers. And let me tell you, they are a tease. And you, of course, you have to try one. Let's pick a big one. Ready? Mm. Mm. Unbelievable. Just wait till you try these, Paula. Thank you so much for this experience. I've had such a great time demonstrating to you my dishes. And thank you to Philadelphia Cream Cheese. Mm.